Ivanovic. Round one of the Qatar Total Open 2013 saw Austrian Tamira Pasek face 13 seed Anna Ivanovic, the Serbian coming off a disappointing loss in the first round of the Pattaya Open. But Ivanovic started very strongly and quickly raced into a 5-1 lead in the first set, using her variety of strokes to gain dominance over her opponent. And there it is, Ivanovic saves break point, finds her way to the opening set, does so in 32 minutes. And she is halfway home to the second round in Doha. The Serbian number one's shot making abilities were further proven in the second set, executing the drop shot with admirable skill on a number of occasions. Oh, and Ivanovic and Ivanovic. just a nice bit of finesse once again. She's employed the drop shot a few times, this time to perfection. Ivanovic leads. Uh, before long, the match had swung too far for the Austrian to recover. And make it a second yeah, insurance Ivanovic. break that will afford Ivanovic the chance to finish this match off. The former Australian Open and Roland Garros winner brought the match to a close in just one hour and six minutes. No challenge yeah, from Pacek, and that'll do it. Anna Ivanovic right, has moved six through one, to the second nine, round, doing two. so in pretty overwhelming fashion. Centre court held the opening round matchup of Chinese number three, Zheng Zhi, against Australian qualifier Anastasia Rodionova in a match which turned out to be a surprise for a number of the fans. That fails. Rodionova started strongly, gaining an early break of serve. Her attacking play and strength at the net seemed too much for Zheng Zhi. The Australian eventually took the first set 6-2. A uh, nice pattern of play, really being emphatic, using her power from both wings and finishing off at the net. Rodionova's early dominance continued in the second set, taking the first three games with relative ease. In the fourth game, Zheng Zhi decided to challenge a line call in the middle of a rally. Throwing a challenge to the call on the left baseline, the ball was called in. Well, this could be interesting, couldn't it? Zheng bails out of the point, asks for the challenge. Look at that. The call goes against the Chinese, and that is a four-love lead in favor of Anastasia Rodionova. Too many mistakes in the Chinese saw this match wrapped up. The Australian will face fourth seed Agnieszka Radwanska in the next round. And perhaps fitting, another error from Zhang Jie's racket, and it nets Rodionova the win. Anastasia Rodionova, the qualifier from Australia, victorious in straight sets over Zhang Jie of China. Heads or tails? World number 10 Caroline Wozniacki faced lucky loser Mavana Jukic Salkic in their first round okay. match. Have a good one. The difference in class was apparent from the start, and the Danish former US Open winner cruised to an early 5 1 lead in the first set. And it's set up Game nicely. Jukic Salkic just unable to really put up any sort of form Wozniacki of resistance, and Wozniacki is perfect one. 3 of 3 in break opportunities. Bosniaki pulled her opponent around the court with ease, as every part of her game was working with deadly accuracy, occasionally pulling out sensational shots such as this at 3-love in the second set. Oh. <laughs> we talked about movement, so strong, great effort to get back and then produce a winner. 40-love. The tent seed was formidable throughout and breezed through with extraordinary speed. It'll be disappointing for Jukic Sokic. She took on the 10 seed and put in a pretty solid effort, but the scoreline will betray all of that effort on the court because Caroline Wozniacki in straight sets is able to emerge with victory and does so in exactly an hour with a 6-1, 6-2 win. The final match on center court featured former world number three Svetlana Kuznetsova against American qualifier Bethany Matic Sands in what turned out to be a tightly fought match throughout. Both players showed skill and determination early in the opening set, and despite some early flashes from the Russian, the first set always seemed headed for a tie-break. Wonderful movement, and then of course you've got to be able to think clearly once you have made the distance, and that was what was so nice about that combination. Good first shot down to uh, Matek Sanz's feet, so it didn't have a lot of options, did she? But there, nice variation from Kuznetsova. When the tiebreak arrived, it was Kuznetsova who quickly raced into the lead. And that's about as one-sided as things could get. Maddox Sands finds herself run over in the tiebreak, and Kuznetsova enjoys a one-set lead. The final set was a tight affair, but a crucial break at 5-4 was enough to see the Russian home. And it's done. She might not get style points, but she has to be impressed as she was able to gut out come from behind efforts in set number one and two.